Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to get started with the Baldur's Gate 3's modding toolkit. So if you want to make your own mods, I'll show you a quick guide and how to get started in doing that. It is a very complex toolkit, but the first thing you gotta do is create our own project. So you're gonna have your projects here that you've already created, but you can also go ahead here and create your own known project. So we're just gonna go ahead with a project name. So we'll just do one, two, three, test. And you're just gonna go ahead here with create. Now. Once you create this, there's a bunch of different things that we got to focus on. So it just does take some time for it to load up the game. Uh, but there's a few things that we're going to pay attention to up in the left hand corner here. There's a bunch of options. So this is where we're going to be selecting to be able to test out our items or test out anything that we've created with the modding toolkit. And uh, we're going to load in different scenes. So once this loads up here, it's going to ask us to load a location. So this menu here for the browser will pop up now. For most purposes, this basic level A right here is going to be more than enough to test out things because there's going to be a big flat land, so you can test out your spells, your weapons, etc. Uh, but there's also many different options. So if you want to go like in towns, Baldur's Gate 3, jails, etc., to test in different locations, you can also do that. So there's many other options there. But for most intents and purposes, you're going to probably just go base level there. But you can also search these up. So if you type in CC, if you're doing like something related to class mods, the character creation is going to be there as well. But I'll just show you what the basic level A looks like. So it'll just load in there. So now once we've loaded into here, you can see Will there. So different assets are loaded in. And with this, what we want to be doing is you can switch to the game editor at any time in the top left hand corner. So you can just press that and you're going to see your characters pop up. And this is just functions like somewhat like you would in game so you can move around. You can cast different spells and then with this this is how you can add a bunch of different spells to the game so there's a whole lot else outside of this so we can go to up at the top left the stats editor this is going to pull up a huge menu with a bunch of different things the dice set shared dev main ui um, so i'd go into the shared here and then you can see all the different spell data so if you click on these um, you can double click on them you're going to see like all different types of spells here uh, so everything you're going to be looking for to modify if you want to change things is going to be listed under here so you just go under there uh, for example like projectile spells most of the casting spells are this so you got like chromatic orbs and firebolts magic missile etc so if you want to modify something based out of here this is where you'd look for that in the stats editor so also there's the um, uuid object editor here so you just click on that and this gives you a little bit further ability to go through every little aspect of this so it depends what type of mod you're looking to create i will be doing more in-depth guides on that in the future whenever i get a little bit more comfortable with myself but like different spells and things you'll have the uuid objects here so you can go even further to edit them so these two are big ones to remember but uh, once you have that all done and sorted you can go to switch to the game editor here and uh, again this is where we can start to test around with things so once you're in this another thing that you can use uh, if you want to give yourself a specific spell because you can see we're only level one here is you're going to press Control shift f11 so with this you can see this console window pops up so there's a lot of different console commands that you can type in here again that's something i'll be covering in a future video but a simple one is typing in cc so start new will allow you to restart and spawn in a new character or CC start respec will allow you to respec your character. So you can just go ahead with whatever one you want to go with here. This is just an example, but there's a bunch more. And as you can see, we got ourselves the ability to create a custom character here. And uh, yeah, you get all the customization that you want. So if you want to test out adding in new cantrips, you can just go through here and you'll start to see all the cantrips listed under there. So I just want to provide a bit of a brief tutorial on how to get started with the mod manager. There's a lot more to be done in this and it is quite complex as you can see, but I just want to show off a bit of the process because I've had some people asking and I've been working on trying to get this all figured out myself. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing future guides on this as I get more comfortable with it. So let me know what you want to see in terms of the Baldur's Gate 3 modding toolkit. Hit the subscribe button below for more Baldur's Gate 3 content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.